Global Kids is an organization that educates, inspires, and activates youth to succeed in school, achieve post-secondary success, and take action on critical issues facing their communities and the world. Through their anti-racist youth voice-led approach. They support young people to thrive in social and emotional learning, academic achievement, college and career readiness, and global education. And joining us to share more is Global Kids Senior Director of Practice and Impact, Diamond Butler, and student youth activist and Global Kids member, Yohani. Hello and welcome. Hello, thank you so much for having us. Well, thank you for being here with us. I'd like to open up by introducing uh, all the different sectors as briefly as we possibly can that make up Global Kids because I think this is an amazing program that is being offered in partnership with certain schools. So uh, let, let, let's talk about, let's start with the flagship program. Yes, yeah, so our flagship program is our citywide program, Human Rights Activist Project which any student from New York City can join us. Global Kids also has a presence in Washington, D.C., who also has a similar model for our citywide program. We have leadership that we offer within our school programs as well, too, with the opportunity as community-based lead CBO in the community school space. Uh, we also have Compass NYC contracts but we're able to work with middle school students as well. And we're spreading out to work with elementary school students as well. Wow. So how many students do you have annually? Well, annually we serve thousands of students because we have the opportunity as community school lead CBO to service the entire school through various programming and supports that we give to the school. And we also have our annual conference that brings together young people from several other organizations as well to participate in a youth-led conference that's built by our young people. They select the topic, they run the workshops, and they invite the speakers. Wonderful, which is wonderful lead into Johanny, who is part of this program and has been for quite some time. Let's talk a little bit about your background and how you became involved with Global Kids. Hi. Hi. So, <laughs> I'm a senior from UNESCO Academy for Health Sciences, and I actually started Global Kids when I was in middle school. And it started off in the sixth grade, and it only grew from there. And I found my way to like do it in high school. I started off as like an after-school hangout, but then they started like teaching us about climate change or like social issues like around my neighborhood. I grew up in Spanish Harlem, so we were doing like volunteering around the neighborhood. I would hand out food after school. And I just really enjoyed it, so. Well, I think it's a lovely hangout. <laughs> I, think, I think you chose a, a very progressive hangout. Uh, I think everybody should choose this type of hangout to develop um, in and under, right? So um, I love that you are describing some of your local activities um, and you're being modest because I know you've traveled already extensively. So <laughs> let, let's talk about that because, you know, Diamond did mention that the conferences are youth led and you guys decide the topic. So can you share with us a little bit about like what's been like the primary topic of discussion? Yeah, so right now um, I did recently go to Egypt and I went to the COP27 climate change conference. It was beautiful and I actually got to speak on a side panel. So it was very exciting to share my opinion along with other youth leaders that were there, but also representatives so that they can hear that our voice should be placed on the table because it's our future generation that we need to, you know, we're trying to, I don't know, rebuild, resolve this future for us. And, you know, it should be our voices that should be heard instead of someone else's. But I just want to say, like, having that experience with me just made me feel, have more empowerment, more leadership. And it just feels good to, like, go around the world and say how I feel. I know. I mean, you're like, oh, I was just in Egypt, you know. <laughs> yeah. I, I love it. All because I did join the Human Rights Activist Project because it allows me 
not just to do climate change and focus on that, but also focus on social justice issues that focus in New York City overall. Ever since we had like protests and like we were able to engage in one, I've hosted, I've hosted um, the annual youth global kids conference, um, even though it was online, it was still a lot of people. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. At the end, we had a great outcome and we were able to actually bring global kids, DC and New York together. And it was really nice to like have that, like, I don't know, bond together. Yeah, because that never... camaraderie, that camaraderie <laughs> in, in which y'all, y'all are having the same discussions, right? Exactly. And yeah. we're all like on the same page with like the different kind of ideas. That's awesome. Diamond, I mean, you're part of this movement, right? And so I don't know how hands-on you are with uh, developing them. Let's say someone like Yohani, who started in middle school, who's now going to college on full scholarship, which we didn't mention. Amazing, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I actually um, was part of the ATRAP towards like my end of junior year. And it all started in August of 2022, where I was able to be nominated for the Posse Scholarship to Brandeis. And um, it was a very hard and long process. I realized it when I got it, like I was working on the scholarship since August. And it was hard because in the beginning, you're with the thousands of students that couldn't possibly get the scholarship. Then it goes into like a semi smaller group. And then you're literally at the end where it's like the people you might graduate and go to college with for your next four years. And it was just a beautiful experience. And to be able to have it as a Hispanic person, it's just like, I am very proud of myself and for Global Kids to give me the opportunity. You should be proud of yourself. I'm sure your parents are really proud of you. We're proud of you. I'm applauding you, just listening to you. You know, you bring hope. You bring hope to, to my heart and hopefully to our viewers' hearts. Now, um, really quickly, I know we can't speak about every single uh, program that's offered under Global Kids because there's a lot of them, but there's one that really stood out for me it, aside from the activism. It's the digital learning and leadership because, you know, our youth live online and I love that um, there's this program being offered to teach them the how to capitalize off of it, right? How to actually learn how to earn a living off of being online. So can you just speak to that a little bit, Diamond? Yes, absolutely. And as Johanny also alluded to that during the pandemic, we did not stop our programming. So that was a way in which we were able to really hone in on the digital leadership portion of things through our media movement program where they created digital magazines. Uh, this past year, we had the Women's Rights Institute where young people all had to come up with their action project that connected to media. So whether that was creating a PSA, whether that was thinking about ways in which they could connect to different communities to get their voices heard on a particular issue. Um, it's been an amazing project to see what they create by using mechanisms such as Scratch to create social justice games, and as well as our connection to other organizations to hone in on that training that we had as young people to bring it into fruition. It's been amazing to show them, teach their other classmates who may not be in, in our program right. and to be able to pull them in and say, wow, I want to be able to create that. So that once again was another opportunity where we had young people from New York City and Washington DC to be able to keep, create a digital magazine. That's amazing. And, and of course, they listen to each other, right? We're just here <laughs> as the adults, right? You know, I try to get down. I try to get down. But they're, for me, they're like born with microchips in their heads. And, and I wanted to bring that out because, you know, I mean, all the programs you offer are wonderful, right? So I'm going to mention them. You've got the youth activism, obviously, the digital learning and leadership, the college and career readiness, the international yeah. travel. So I know yeah. you went to Egypt, Yohani, but uh, I, he, I see here that they've traveled to Croatia, Costa Rica, Denmark, Japan, Haiti, Kenya, Morocco, Northern Ireland, Peru, South Africa. How many of those did you visit? I visited Spain and just now Egypt, and I hope to see myself in the next COP. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> 
But it's amazing. Isn't it amazing when you go and you travel and, and you just visit uh, other soil and, and other cultures and, and you just really gain a, a different level of appreciation in being a global yeah. citizen? It's like you gain a different appreciation for your own life because you see other people going through different things. And it's just like, we shouldn't take what we have for granted because I just feel like living in New York, you get everything handed to you in a sense. Everything is there for you. But in other countries, I was talking to certain students about how much they pay for college or like how it works over there. It's hard going over there. They really want to come here to work and like once they finish their schooling. And it just says a lot about being a New Yorker and living here. So. Oh, I appreciate you sharing your level of gratitude. The world needs more of it. So before we go, I'm going to leave the last word with Johanny because I want Johanny to just share some words of encouragement with regards to just climate consciousness is what I'd like to call it. Okay. So I just feel like um, students around the world who are in these public schools or wherever you are, I feel like you should seek every opportunity in every single program that is around you because you just never know where it could take you. Who knew that I would be here right now with a full scholarship going to college? Like, if it wasn't for Global Kids, I don't think I would ever, I wouldn't know the opportunity of what Posse was because I wasn't, I'm not going to sit here and not say that I knew it, where I was going with it or like what it was. I really didn't until I got that call. And there was like, you know, you should look at the schools. If you want, you can do it. If not, you don't have to. Like, it was just, you got to take every, every opportunity that's out there and just run with it and do make something out of it like do what you got to do and really um show your leadership when it comes to getting these kinds of opportunities because i've been able to travel i've been able to have scholarships host campaigns and do all sorts of things just because i joined this program and you guys should even see like if there's global kids in your schools because we're everywhere in new york so all right, so I was going to give her the last word, but those were very profound <laughs> words she just shared with us that I love because they listen to each other, right? But yes. if people wanted to join Global Kids, this is yours for you, Diamond Butler. Where, how would they go about doing so? Um, you could go to our website, www.globalkids.org. Also feel free to email me, diamond at globalkids.org and I'll connect you to our citywide programs and have conversations with schools about how we can get involved. Well, we appreciate you. I acknowledge you for your mentorship, Diamond. Thank you for being here with us. Johanny, like I said, you, you leave me hopeful. So thank you for sharing your words. Once again, everyone, Global Kids Senior Director of Practice and Impact, Diamond Butler, along with Johanny, student and youth activist. And for more information, you can visit globalkids.org. And uh, bueno, stay tuned. There's more open when we return.